You're listening to the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network, home of the number one sports talk show on the planet, The Doug Stewart Show. This is a revolution in radio, the realest, trillest sports talk show in America, The Doug Stewart Show. This is sports talk for the people. The Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Real talk, real radio, real people, just like you. Yes! Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, Watch your videos and view all of your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bvmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's BV, V as in victory, mobileapps.com, and tell them Doug Stewart sent you. Yes, sir! We're doing some huge things here on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network, home of the Doug Stewart Show, and the biggest thing being broadcasting other shows. That's right, we're executive producing other shows and playing them on my network. You may have a fantastic show or podcast, but do you have listeners? We got listeners, over 9,000 followers to the Doug Stewart Show on the Spreaker platform, as well as over 200,000 plus listens to the network itself. So here's what you do. Go to Fiverr.com, that's Fiverr.com, and search the Doug Stewart Show or Stewart Media and Entertainment and get all the details. Or just hit up the producer, Tree, at Tree at the Doug Stewart Show.com. That's spelled T-R-E-I. Tree at the Doug Stewart Show.com and come and do business with us on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Yes! Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's STU for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code STU, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code STU. what it is okay you know what it is you have to do the right thing you have to go home to the family you understand i'm not saying you got to go back there this minute but you got to go back the bad boys of radio are back if you ain't got no haters you ain't popping fresh off the plizzing you know my dang name you cheating some of my <laughs> look man i'm all excited over here and you look like you scared boy stop <laughs> he ain't never scared Stupendous Saturdays with the two live stews. Grab your biscuits and coffee, boys and girls, because it's game time. If you're not stewing, what in the hell are you doing? I borrowed Uncle Donnie's boat when I went home about five or six years ago to take some people out on the river. Leaving his house, the boat came off the hitch, and the trailer went in the ditch. So we tried for an hour and a half to get this boat off the ditch. So I called him. You didn't want to call him. I didn't want to call him. All right. So I called that guy and said, hey, man, I got a little situation, man. Uh, where you at? I said, well, I'm, I'm about half a mile from the house. Try man. to try to talk like he talks. Well, nep- nephew, what's wrong? What's wrong, nephew? The trailer came up the back of the truck. <laughs> oh, oh, beep, 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 beep. Uh, I'll, I'll be right there. <laughs> so you literally hear his truck coming from his house a half mile away. <laughs> <laughs> when he gets out, he's got his robe on, right? <laughs> And underneath his robe, because the robe is wide open, oh it's tight, but it's wide open. Straight meat swinging and nothing at all on under the robe. The funny thing about the whole story is they call him Killer. So there's five guys that they're trying to get their boat out the ditch, right? And for 30 minutes, 
Nobody said nim word <laughs> to Uncle Donnie about buttoning up his bro. He was in the air the entire time in broad daylight at 12 o'clock noon on a Saturday morning. True Uncle Donnie stories right here on the Two Live Shoes, Doug Stewart, Ron Stewart. Got to thank God every minute of every day. 640 WGST, stupendous Saturday to you. It's one of my favorite stories in the world, man. And your boys are back. In the world, man. I mean, we got the greatest uncles in the world, man. Out of we all, truly do have the greatest uncles in the world. I've got 42 years worth of stories that I can tell and <laughs> probably have some type of hilarity involved. Yeah. That's my favorite story of all. So our Uncle Donnie is the, is the uncle that every time he saw us, he gave us $5. Still to this day. And I mean, back in 1979... Back in 1979, if you got five five dollars is equivalent to about forty dollars today, and as a as a seven eight year old kid, deal, every man. time you saw your uncle, you got five dollars. That right. was a big deal. You used to ask for see Uncle Donnie on Wednesday. <laughs> Can we go by Uncle Donnie? I still need to get my shades back yeah. though. So yeah. you 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 you've taken a, a a page out of Uncle Donnie's book. Whenever you come, you bring. Uh, my, uh, matchbox cars for the boys. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Every time I see the nephews, speaking of which, how they doing, man? Everybody's good, man. Yeah, they every time I you, every time I come and see the boys, man, I bring something with me, man. They told me to tell you that they feel slighted because Uncle Donnie gave you $5 every time he saw you. <laughs> and all you do is bring a stick and car that only works for two weeks. Hey, man, this is the Two Live Stews, Doug Stewart, Ryan Stewart, 640 WGST, as well yeah. as iHeartRadio. Stupendous Saturday to you once again, man. A packed show for you today as we do every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. right here on 640. Shouts out to the Georgia Super Lawyer for 11 years. What running. up, Bruce Hagan? Bruce Hagan's in the building. He is the title sponsor to the Two Live Stews. Stupendous Saturday, so we appreciate you, Bruce. Check him out at Hagan-Law.com. All right, so what we do every Saturday morning, man, is we talk sports. I mean, and we talk whatever the hell's. We got going on and the, the, why do you always wait late to introduce Tree? You know, why, what, what, what takes so long to say hello to Tree? I, I didn't know we were supposed to introduce Tree. I mean, you know, she's just sitting right there waiting for an opportunity. Oh, I'm That's sorry. That's right. Good morning, Tree. Good morning. How Tree, are you? Tree is the producer to the two live students. Allegedly. And she also produces the Doug Stewart Show Monday yeah. through Friday Listen, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at thedougstewartshow.com. I didn't say make it all about her. I said say hello. Let's keep it moving. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so, so what we do on the show, man, is we have fun. We talk about sports, entertainment, and whatever else is going on. Going on. Too much we got time. 10 the stewway, which is kind of like our way to get into as many stories as we can from the past week. So we got 10 the stewway and also the funky four, the four biggest games in football coming up this weekend. Who do I report to when I have an HR situation in this studio? <laughs> I don't know, man. There's got to be well, what's, someone. What's the HR situation? Well, I'm, I'm minding my own business. You report ready. to I, me. I got, I got done praying and Tree literally rolls her foot up, her, her chair up on my foot. And I got my monster toe shoes on, so there's no protection on my feet. She rolls over my big toe, and yeah. I'm going to sue. Sounds like HR to me. I mean, right. sounds like HR. Yeah. I'm HR. You not know the I'm HR. producer. I'm <laughs> HR. I'm the bathroom cleaner. Oh, boy. Nah, you ain't no HR. That, that could be a situation. How, how was the week? Before we even get to all this other stuff, man, and what we're going to get into today, how was the week? Uh, after last week's show, man, I shout out to New York to go spend some time with my New York Knickerbockers. Uh-huh. Had a little gig up there, uh, which was cool. I'll get into that a little bit later. But um, saw the Knicks beat your Lakers, man. Yeah. In Madison Square. I mean, but that's not a hard thing to do these days. Hey, what's the kid's name? I mean, that's nothing to brag about. Porzingis, is that his name? Porzingis, he's we for real. We got something. Y'all got something. We freaking got something in New York. If I were y'all, I'd try to get rid hey, of Carmelo. Man, it's going to be tough, but I'd try to get Mello, 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 get rid of Carmelo. Nobody's going to take that, Doug. And i try to build around Porzingis and the Jerry and Grant kid. Nobody's going to take that. The kid from Notre Dame. Nobody's going to take Melo, and honestly... I don't really want him going because he's going to get me 25 at night. He's going to get me 25. Yeah, but he's a he's a sieve. I mean, he's a <laughs> he's hey, a man. black hole. What did I say when Porzingis <laughs> got drafted by Phil Jackson? What did I say? I don't know what you said. Tell okay. me. Um, Just tell me. I do not like seven foot four guys that play outside the perimeter, but I trust Phil Jackson. That's what I said. Eh, That's what I said. I, don't know. I trust Phil Jackson. I'll say this: He doesn't have the normal European style game. Uh, he he's very aggressive. He Dunks over cats, backs. I mean, so I think y'all got something in him. I went to Miami. Speaking of which, we both had chips last week. Before you move on, Uh uh, and shouts out to the NBA League Pass because I haven't missed the Knicks game all year. We'll tell you more about the NBA League Pass a little bit later. Um, So you shot to New York. I shot out to Miami or down to Miami. Me and the wife, I celebrated my 46th birthday. And 20 years of marriage. Can we get a little round of applause for that, Walter? 20 years of marriage. 20 years. And you know what's funny, man? 20 years. When people live a hard life, you can see it on their face. Monica looks quite well, man. 
<laughs> she does, man, because you are hell on a woman. You let, hear me? Let me, let me. You hell on people all together. Let me Thank tell you. you. Let, let me tell you something, man. You hell on people, man. Let me tell you something, man. And she wears it well. Monica has a I pie can't say job. The tree, but go ahead. Monica has a pie job in a lemon river. She lives the wife of Doug Stewart. I mean, she has lived a glorious life over the last 20 hey, years. You ain't had a her mom job them, in three years, bitch. Her, her mom and them lo- this, and, can't, and, this can't be a good thing. Listen to me. That, this can't be a good thing. What do you mean? That's my point. I haven't gotten a check in three years, and she still eats, still has a roof over her head, and clothes on her back. Look at God. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the Lord. 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 So we went to Miami, man. My second favorite place in the world, man. Had a great time. It was whoa, 95 whoa, whoa. degrees, no rain at all. What's, what's worse? What's worse? Oh, number one is Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes. I mean, it's hard to be Vegas. I'm reverse. I'm reverse. You like Miami first? I'm Miami first. Yeah. I like Miami, but it's not as, I mean, there's a million things to do in Vegas. You don't even have to leave your damn hotel. Yeah, that's true. You got 20 nightclubs, 30 restaurants. In a hotel. 25 shows. Right. Uh, all in one place. Shopping. You, you got, got golf. I mean, you got, I mean, I love Vegas, you got, man. You got ocean and bikinis. Uh, in Miami, man. You do. You, you do. I mean, bikini. And that's a definite benefit. But we had a great time down there, man. You see much breast in Miami. Absolutely love that place, man. Absolutely and, love and that bookie, place. And bookie. Both. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's open just for you to look at. Like, it's like. All right. When I'm in Miami, you it's know, like I'm in, a, real... I'm in a strip club. You, that's, that's not a strip club, but there's still ladies that's walking around like they're in a strip club. Well, so... I mean, you know, some parts of South Beach are, are nude. Yes. Are topless. Right. I don't think you can pull it on your, your you panties know? or whatnot. Uh, we saw a couple people walk by. You know something that's very distressing about Vegas or, or Miami? First thing I do in Miami when I get to the airport is get 100 ones. And on that beach what? is the European people that are there visiting. Mm-hmm. They have their kids out there, man. Their daughters don't wear tops. Yes. That's a, I, I don't you you haven't noticed that? That's a pro- I have a problem with that. Uh, yeah. Something don't seem right about that. I believe in daughters Y'all keeping their so special. Uh, yeah. Keeping their special special. Uh, I don't know. That's how they get down in Europe. I don't even think a three-year-old should flaunt what they have. Not even a three-year-old. Uh, I'm not very nope. uncomfortable with that. Cover it up. All right, when we get back from the break, man, the first half of 10 The Stewway, where we'll talk about the 10 biggest stories this past week in the world of sports and entertainment. A little bit later, the Funky Four. The four biggest games in football. We'll talk about two college and two pros. All in this short hour, man. All yeah. in this short hour. Don't go away. Keep it locked. This is the two live stews on 640 WGST. What's up, folks in Russia? <laughs> Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com. America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play. So, you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's STU for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code STU, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code STU. The best of the Doug Stewart Show. Uh, Let me read more of this chat before I get out of here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, my man K3000. Uh, yeah. If you're new to the show, K3000... He's kind of long-winded. We love him, though. <laughs> so I see, I guess this is why Tree's playing this music in the background. Uh, he says, Dougie, I feel you. People love making fun of people when they get caught doing something semi-wrong. Uh, like receiving extra like free shrimp. But they don't realize that a lot of these guys are effing starving. And that they're effing restricted from ever even singing, signing their name. For gain, uh, you give me a damn scholarship, and I'm supposed to sign over all my damn rights, all my money-making potential. And if I don't comply, then you blackball me, so that I can't make it to the next level to actually receive a check. GTFOH, he did a bunch of GTFOHs. CSI, this, see, this is the ish. <laughs> I'm pissed off about too. That's like dude from Ohio State that actually went to court to get the rule changed and then got blackballed and lost at life. GTFOH, a lot of them. I'm totally with you, Dougie. I'm totally with you. 
Thank you, K3000. I'm with me too. <laughs> At Ticket Liquidator, we believe you should have access to the experiences you want to be a part of. Since 2003, Ticket Liquidator has been connecting buyers and sellers with the most sought after and often sold out events across the country. Ticket Liquidator's nationwide network is you access to one of the largest online inventories of sports, theater, and concert tickets with prices lower than most companies in other markets. And our security policies are solid, so you can buy with absolute confidence. More tickets, better service, and lower prices, so you can witness the best entertainment, culture, and sports events worldwide. At Ticket Liquidator, we know that seeing a legend bring down the house or watching your team win the championship is about more than a ticket. It's about being there. For all your sports and entertainment ticket needs, Call us at 855-638-3034. Again, that's 855-638-3034. This is our theme song right here. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Ninja. Welcome back to the Two Live Shoes, Doug Stewart and Ryan Stewart, 640 WGST, as well as iHeartRadio. Can we at least let the beat drop? Yeah. I... There we go. There we go. <laughs> While you're surfing the web, man, go to Facebook and check out the Bike Law Georgia page. Like that Facebook page for my boy Bruce Hagen, Bike Law Georgia page on Facebook. Bruce would appreciate it. Uh, super. Georgia lawyer, 11 years straight. So uh, check him out and support him with that bike law and stuff. That he puts. Hagen-Law.com. Stupendous Saturday to you, Doug Stewart, Ryan Stewart, 640 WGST, as well as iHeartRadio. Hey, man, make sure you tune in to the Doug Stewart Show, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time at thedougstewartshow.com. Online, it's just like the stews. Uh, I actually get to little uh, get to l- be a little bit more loose around there, so it's a good time, man. You all can eggshells around here for no reason. I don't get it. Huh? I mean, we pushed the envelope to the point where we realized it, we, we, it's, it's, it's okay, but, man. But, but really, it's okay. but really, I have no FCC on my back, and I'm real free, and right. I, you know, it's just real different. All right, Tree, are you ready to do your thing? I'm ready. Right. It's time for Ten the Stew Way. I love <sighs> the name of that segment, Ten the Stew Way. I bet you do. It took me two weeks to come up with it, but I got it. <laughs> <laughs> The Falcons go to San Francisco and lose to the 49ers. And sorry, Blaine Gabbert. They've now lost three of the last four games. Oh, boy. Ryan, have the Falcons officially gone? Back to life. Oh, that's good production right there. I told y'all last week <laughs> that there were four teams in NFL history that have started 5-0 and and that have missed the playoffs. And what did I tell y'all last week? You said it, man. That the Falcons you will be the it. fifth to do so. You said so. it, man. I said it last week. You said it. I felt it last week. I felt there would be a letdown with all that was going on in San Francisco and Gabbard getting the start. And there's two things that had me just baffled. People don't realize that quarterback play – can get you a victory, even if it's not a lot of quarterback play. Gabbert, 15 for 2,585 yards. Two interceptions, but hey, two TDs to match. Falcons that's, supposed to win that's this That's a game, simple though. day. Right. The 49ers won because they ran the ball 38 freaking times, and we couldn't pressure the quarterback the 25 times he threw the ball. Uh, it's that simple, man. Yeah, the 49ers ended a two-game stretch without a touchdown. Blaine Gabbard hadn't started a game since, like, 2013. He's lost his last 10 games in a row. And the Falcons, this team that had this great start, went out there and lost, put up a dud performance. Gabbard was 5-22 and 22 with 10 straight losses, man. And here's the thing, man. And he beats the Falcons, a team that really still has their destiny right in the palm of their hand. Here's the thing, man. I really believe the Falcons are really hitting that soul-to-soul, like we just talked about, back-to-life, back-to-reality. All of the problems, the inefficiencies of this right. team are showing up. Right. Defensively, man, they just don't have the talent. Now they got injuries in the secondary, man. It looks like the chickens are coming hey, man, home to roost with this team. We can't get no sacks. I like the interception that Beasley got, but I'm not paying him for interceptions. I want him getting to the quarterback, and he's not getting there. Vic Beasley, two sacks on the year, not even a lot of pressures, man. I'm still saying he's young, he's going to be that guy, but we need more production. We got to get to the quarterback more. Um, the big story of the week. We have nothing to lose but our chain. 
Missouri players threatened to boycott if the president doesn't step down because of the handling of racial concerns for black students on campus. Doug, how surprised are you that the threat from the players actually worked? Not surprised at all. And I've been talking about this. This is one of my things over the last 15 years on Radio Man is the power that these college athletes in particular college football players have. They just don't realize it. And over 100 years of the NCAA, man, these players still are at a position where they don't get paid for their services, for jobs that they perform to make money for the university. The one time they came together at this scale, they got a president, in effect, fired. In less than a week. In less than a week. In less than a week. So... I think this is a new day. Now that we've seen this, I think you'll see more of these type of protests for betterment of the players, man. It's a long time coming, but I'm glad they did it. Oh, guess what? You're going to see more because already in recent weeks, you've got Yale University dealing with somewhat of a protest, and you've got Ithaca College dealing with somewhat of a protest. You're going to see more. It would have cost the great folks of Missouri over a million dollars if them boys wouldn't have took that field. It's real simple math. The it's president simple. made four hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars. <laughs> We're gonna save six hundred by doing this. If they didn't play the game, they would have had to give BYU a million dollars. Losing half a million dollars. Um it took great intestinal fortitude to have the testicles to do what those young men and young women at Missouri did. And we are gonna start seeing it a whole lot more. What's gonna happen is before one of these big time playoff games, yeah. there's a team that's gonna say, you know what? We're not taking the field. Right. And exactly. they're going to be forced to listen and give in to demand. Imagine if the players that are in the final four teams say in basketball <laughs> or the final four teams in college football say, we're not going to play. Oh, we're not going to play unless we right. get this, that, and the other. Right. I think it's a big day, man. It's a new day. What you got, Tree? Pictures of Greg Hardy's girlfriend came out showing the results of alleged abuse from the hands of the Dallas Cowboy defensive lineman. Jerry Jones does nothing. What are your thoughts on this story, Ryan? And should the Cowboys fans stop rooting for the team just because Hardy's on? On it. Cowboy fans are not going to start rooting for the team because that's their team. And they shouldn't. And they shouldn't. And as a matter of fact, they're going to make allowances for what Greg Hardy has done. I think it's evil. I think it's terrible. Uh, I think you can't condone the pictures that have been shown. But at the end of the day, we weren't there. Okay? And I'm not condoning what the marks on that lady's body had to do with anything at all. But what I am saying is it's dead wrong. But Greg Hardy, there's a protocol to the situation. Right. And you can't just take him off the field because something terrible was done. It doesn't work that way. That's why there's unions. That's why the PA fights for people's behalf. That's why things are set up the way they are. You're not going to take him off the field because you feel angered right now. As, as mad as we are, and we both got daughters, you got a new daughter now. I got three daughters, man. I get it's it, man. heinous. It looked very, very bad. I get it. What Greg Hardy was accused of. But once again, we aren't league officials. We didn't have a collective bargaining agreement with the NFL that allowed for him to come back and play. We are we aren't justices. We aren't a court system. We aren't judges where we make determinations of whether a guy goes to jail or not. At the end of the day, all we are is fans. And I've said this, man, and it's not cool, but if I'm an owner like Jerry Jones, if the legal system says this guy is able to play, who is I'm he not going to say stop different? him from making money for my football team. Who is he to say different? That's not more important than domestic violence by any means. No way. But it's just reality. I'm sorry. This is what it is, man. It's terrible, but it is what it is. Douglas, Clemson is still number one after beating FSU. Alabama jumps to number two after beating LSU. Ohio State, number three, and Notre Dame jumps to four. Iowa at five and Baylor at six. Cool or not cool? Um, I mean, it's okay because I think all of this stuff is going to work itself out. And You are listening to the two live shoes on 640 WGST. Clemson is just going to roll. Uh, I think they're probably going to play Duke from the Coastal Division in the ACC championship game. They're going to win. They don't have a, a hard schedule at all. Alabama uh, is probably going to play Florida in the SEC championship championship game they should be fine ohio state they're probably going to play iowa in the uh, big 10 championship they should be fine notre dame they have a couple of big games left against stanford i'm okay with it because at the end of the day bottom line i think everything's going to work itself out and we have a playoff so i'm just happy about that i agree more with the coaches poll the way it's lined up with osu being one clemson two baylor three bama four OK State 5, Notre Dame 6, Stanford 7, and Iowa 8. I like that poll more than this poll that currently exists, but it doesn't matter. It's going to change every week until they get it right or until they get it the best way that they think is right. So I'm fine with it the way it is right now. Speaking of college football, Ryan, LSU's Leonard Fournette was shut down by Bama and rushes for just 31 yards. The experts now say Derrick Henry is the front runner for the Heisman. What say you? Um, I'm still going to say TCU's Trevor Boykin is the guy that's going to win that thing. What? Or, yep, or. Man, Trevor Boykin not even mentioned. Well, he's not even mentioned, but he's still a quarterback that had 3,900 3, yards last year. 
okay, and, and 42 plus touchdowns last year. Uh, between Boykin and Deshaun Watson, 13 or 14 quarterbacks have won that thing the last 15 years, and I don't see that changing, man. They just have the ball more, and at the end of the year, they're going to have bigger numbers. I'm looking at the Puppet Factory's uh, list, the ESPN's expert poll, and their top five candidates by all these so-called experts once again. Number five, Christian McCaffrey, Ed McCaffrey's little boy, the mm-hmm. running back at Stanford. You ever yeah, seen him? he's a beast. He's real nice, yeah. but he's just a sophomore, so he's not going to win it. They've got Ezekiel Elliott at number four. Uh, he's so far behind, I don't think he'll get it as well. There's been other running backs that have done better than him and had more production this year. Corey Coleman, the wide receiver from Baylor. First of all, Baylor's probably going to lose, and he's a wide receiver. If Keyshawn Johnson or somebody like that didn't win the Heisman Trophy as a wide receiver, he's, he's not going to get it. He's, they, not, he's not Tim Brown. Yeah, and they've got Leonard Fournette at number two and Derrick Henry at number one. Leonard Fournette, before this past week where he only had 31 yards rushing, Bama was averaging down. 199 yards per week, and now after that bad game, he's still averaging 176 yards. I think he should be the front runner. If Watson and Clemson can stop turning the ball over or keep from turning the ball over and Clemson keeps winning, his name's going to pop up, sir. And there it is. That's another player yep. that I, they're not even really talking about, but Deshaun Watson yep. should be talked about as far as this Clemson yep. uh, Tiger quarterback in the Heisman Trophy. Oh, that hearty talk, boy. It hurts. It really hurts, man. All right, when we get back from the break, man, we got the second half of 10 the hard way. Well, actually, 10 the stew way. Um, on 640 WGST. Busting that tree, but you keep jacking it up. I know, I know. Don't go away. Keep it locked. <laughs> this is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join Seven. Join Seven is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join 7 is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got you back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all 7 for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, the thedougstoreshow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join 7. The best of the Doug Stewart Show. Vegas, I believe, is the only state, or Nevada is the only state where they have legalized prostitution in these whorehouses, and they, they call them brothels. And it's not in the city limits of Vegas in that particular county. It's like the next county over. And I've just heard all of this on the street. I just heard about this. But this is how it actually is. So, like, one county over, if you drive, and I think this story said it's like 70 miles where Lamar Odom was found. This next county over, they have legalized whorehouses. And the technical term is brothels. Yes, Tree. I mean, I'm going to say something that may surprise you. To be honest with you, like, they need to legalize it everywhere because... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, Aunt Esther. No. This is real talk here. Okay. The government has no business telling people where they can fling their cat, get their vitamin D. It's not up to the government to decide that, so... While I wouldn't choose that as my lifestyle, shout out to Nevada for understanding that that's that woman's body. Yeah. And she can do what she wants with it. In, in theory, I 100% agree with you. I didn't know we were going to start this uh, this social conversation on, on whores and, and whorehouses in America. But, uh, yeah, I agree with you, Tree. I'm telling you, just stop it, government, and legalize the kitty. Legalize the <laughs> I think we got a new moniker now for the show. Legalize the kitty. Sports talk. Straight. No chaser. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music. Watch your videos and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? 
A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. We're doing some huge things here on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network, home of the Doug Stewart Show. And the biggest thing being broadcasting other shows. That's right. We're executive producing other shows and playing them on my network. You may have a fantastic show or podcast, but do you have listeners? We got listeners. Over 9,000 followers to the Doug Stewart Show on the Spreaker platform, as well as over 200,000 plus listens to the network itself. So here's what you do. Go to Fiverr.com, that's Fiverr.com, and search the Doug Stewart Show or Stewart Media and Entertainment and get all the details. Or just hit up the producer, Tree, at Tree at the Doug Stewart Show.com. That's spelled T-R-E-I. Tree at the Doug Stewart Show.com and come and do business with us on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Yes! Welcome back to the two live studios. Doug Stewart, Ryan Stewart, 640 yeah. WGST, as well as iHeartRadio. NBA back, man. Mm-hmm. Hawks I'm, doing great. Hawks doing great. Uh, I think they'll represent the East. Uh, I think my Knicks will find a way to get into that seventh or eighth seed. Uh-huh. And um, Phil Jackson did it again when it comes to Paul Zingas, man. Yeah. Thanks to the good folks at NBA League Pass, I have not missed a Knicks game all season long. And I've watched all of them except the two on my handheld device. Sir. Yeah, especially uh, my Lakers as well. Even though they're struggling, I still get to see them. Speaking of NBA League Pass, man, games exclusive to NBA League Pass this week. Cleveland at Milwaukee, New Orleans at your Knicks, Indiana at Chicago, OKC at Memphis, Houston at Memphis, New York at Oklahoma City. NBA League Pass, shorty. Make sure you get it. What is the, the New Orleans Pelicans missing, man? What do you mean? They are coaching. <laughs> it's cool. coaching. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Gentry. Yeah, Gentry. Alvin, Gentry. Alvin, Gentry. Gentry. Alvin Gentry. Never been a fan of his, man, mm-hmm. but he continues to get job after job after job, man. Mm-hmm. And they've got they've got Anthony Davis not playing uh, the normal scheme that they had been playing right. in London over the last couple of years. Yeah. It's like a fish out of water, he's man. A, he's, a, he's a stretch five. They got him doing things on the outside of the perimeter and stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly, All exactly. Right. All right, more of a 10 the stew way. I no. love when that music comes. You know I'm a Western fan, right? I know you're a Western you say fan. Say it so. every week. I'm just making sure. We get new listeners every week, Tree. It's <laughs> no. called resetting. We've kind of been doing this for 15 years. We know what we're doing. I mean, you may not think so. The Warriors. We kind of know what we're doing. I mean, a lot of people don't want to give us credit, but we know what we're doing. I mean, we do. All right. I'm sorry. The Warriors continue to dominate and now 10 and 0 and are now 10 and 0. It's very clear, Doug, but how realistic are the is the Bulls record of 72 wins for the Warriors this year? Man, you know what, man? I asked a question on my show, on the Doug Stewart show Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time at the DougStewartShow.com, the DougStewartShow.com. Ask this question, man, not if the Warriors can win 72 games. Ask yourself this question. Will they lose 10 games? That's the question. That's the question. That's the question. I don't see this team losing 10 games all year long. I I agree. I mean, it's as simple as that. I agree. They are a well-oiled machine. Their coach isn't even there. You got Luke Walton coaching the team, a guy that's been out of basketball for probably two or three years. They're 10-0, undefeated, and destroying teams. I don't see this team losing 10 games. Yes, they can do it. Okay, I agree. I think 72 is definitely – clear in their sight on the table but the problem that they're going to have that the bulls didn't have is competition man in the west alone the spurs okc and dallas and the clippers are five formidable teams that will challenge them at some point in time this season that's the other thing i said about this too when the bulls did it they were the clear favorite. Were, nobody thought. Down. Nobody thought that they weren't hey, going to win the championship Aldridge, that year. Aldridge, Tim Duncan, Tony Parker is going to be a problem. You got San Antonio. Kevin Durant, Westbrook, going to be a problem. You got San Antonio. You got yeah. OKC. Yeah. Vegas says that Cleveland's going to win the championship. So yeah, hey, that's the only thing. Cleveland's eight and one. First time they've been like that since '76. 
they've going to ha- they're going to have some challenges, man. But I think they can do it. Yeah, I think they can do it. I think they can do it. Speaking of Golden State, Steph Curry has 46 points against the T Wolves and is averaging 33 a game over the first 10 games. We all know your biggest. We all know you're mm-hmm. a big LeBron fan. Get that straight. This side of the Mississippi. Get that straight. But has Chef Curry passed the king as the best player Ooh, in basketball, Ryan? I can't Ryan? wait to hear this. Listen to me, man. I cannot wait to hear this from the LeBron fan. All I'm going to say is this right here, man. Mm-mm. Hashtag stop it. It's still uh, I knew you were gonna say LeBron it. We... James's world Boo. in the NBA. Boo. Listen, man. As good as there Steph go. Curry is... <laughs> His body can only do what he does outside, and it's a high percentage shot. LeBron can do it outside, bring it inside, and he's got the biggest, fastest body that we've ever seen on the hardwood. LeBron man. has great nights of shooting, but he's not half the shooter as Steph Curry. Uh, okay, but he doesn't have half the handle as Steph Curry. He's got a great handle. He can take it into the paint <laughs> whenever he wants, man. I want that big body, man. Hey, listen, I man. love Curry, but I want that big body, man. Let, let, let me let me say whoa, this. Whoa, wait yeah, a that, 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 that didn't sound right. That didn't sound right. right. Oh, you took it out of context, chump. And you're listening to the two last twos. Let me say this, man. We have never seen a player with this good of handles that can shoot this good, that can create his own I, shot, I agree. that doesn't need a lot of space. I agree. Also, he's very solid defensively, and he's a former player's son, so he's been around the game his entire life. I agree. The guy has it all. I agree with everything you said. Steph Curry is the best player in basketball. I, and, and I'm shocked to say that because it took me a long time to believe what I was seeing. Right. He is the best player in basketball right now, bar none. But LeBron does more. And that's why no, LeBron took us a nod. No, he doesn't. LeBron does LeBron more. LeBron can't shoot a three from half court. But he hits three pointers. He's a thirty high thirty percent, low forty percent three point shooter. LeBron does more. He can uh, bang uh, in the I, paint. What more did I expect from the biggest LeBron James fan? He can lock down, he can lock down everybody that he's going to have to lock down. Steph Curry can't do it's that. It's okay. LeBron does more. Oh, it's okay. You have honey. no idea what you're talking about, Tree. LeBron does more. Oh, God. He does more. Rex Ryan and Buffalo beat his old team, the New York Jets. Doug, do you believe in Rex and his Bills team? If you listen to the Doug Stewart Show Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time at the Show.com, I am not a Rex Ryan fan. As a matter of fact, I think Rex Ryan is an idiot. I think he's a buffoon. I think that he's a fraud. I don't know why players love this guy so much, but he is a hack, the worst coach, the representative of a coach I've ever seen in my life. It's unbelievable this guy got this job this is, after they got rid of him in New York. This is somewhat unorthodox, man. <laughs> but if you take Steph Curry and, and put so him on the glad. team where LeBron had Cleveland, he would not have taken Cleveland hey, to the finals. we moved on, man. We moved on. If you take Steph Curry and put him where LeBron was in Miami, that Miami team doesn't win championships. We moved on. All right. Uh, and not only that, I am so happy that the Atlanta Falcons did not hire Rex Ryan. Uh, I'm just happy. Um, I'm disappointed how Rex acted, man, pumping his fist like that for a regular season game versus his old team. Even he's got more class than that. And you know I'm a fan of the guy, man. I don't know why. I'm a fan of the guy. But two things I want to say. Uh, the rushing attack that they have in Buffalo is why they're going to be a team that people have to worry about or think about. And Rex Ryan had a captain in the kid that punched Achilles Smith. Not Achilles Smith. That kid that punched out. I.K. and Kapali. Do you believe that he made them the captain, man? Well, I mean, his story is. That's why is, I love Rex, and that's why the Jets are going to do good this year. He's a big kid. Like, he's a big kid. <laughs> and then after the game, they won against the Jets. I understand it's your old team. You want to be happy, and you're happy. Hey. Uh, but to act the way that he did like a little seven-year-old Dude, child, man, is unbecoming of a coach. The kid that knocked the quarterback out of the off the team. I.K. and Kapali. Was the captain for Rex when he played his own team. <laughs> All right, Tree, next question, Tree. You can't make this stuff up, man. Next question, Tree. This is great. The champ is here. Oh, my gosh. MMA champ Ronda Rousey fights this weekend in Australia. No need to talk about her opponent because she's a walking dead woman as we speak. (laughs) Ryan, are you a Rousey fan? Um, I like Ronda Rousey, and I give her respect, man. But she's fought 12 times, man. She's fought 12 times, man. I mean, only 12 times. I, I, I can't. This, this this outpour of support and how great she has become in 12 fights just blows my mind. She hasn't done anything. She hasn't done anything in 12 fights, man. This is a politically correct society sorry, we are man. living in in 2015. I support her. She can fight if she wants, but she hasn't done anything, man. Let me say this. I have to put a disclaimer out there. I have no issue with women and equal rights. As a matter of fact, Media I like darling. women. As a matter of fact, I like women. I really do like women. I do not like women fighting. 
And I know I sound like a caveman. I'm from the country. I'm old school in my thinking. But don't you get d- disgusted when somebody sends you one of those world star videos of two ladies fighting? I, I don't like it. I don't like women fighting. I don't like I, it. I can't get into it at all. Nope. And she's like big cheese right now, man. But I cannot get into it. Maybe I'm old school. Maybe I don't like to see women beat the hell out of each other. Yeah. All right? Maybe I should move up to 2015. But that's just a real opinion. It's kind of archaic, man. It really is. Lastly, New York bands. Tree, are you okay with women beating the hell out of each other? And you're listening to the two live stews. Uh, no, but I am okay with her getting her coins. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm fine that's- with that. I-, I have no problem with any of that. Hey, I'm not trying to stop uh, Listen, she's, MMA All I'm saying is boxing. she's not Bones Jones. You're not scared of her? N- no, I'm not afraid of her at all. Because I heard Layla Ali was finna whoop y'all. Mm. No, that was me. That was, that was me. That was and she's good. 130 pounds. That she don't want good. none of this. Listen. Um, I don't fight women, first of all, but she don't want none I of want this. her to get her chips, man. But, again, she hasn't done anything to be this media darling that she is. Well, we got time for one more question. The New New York bans DraftKings and FanDuel from operating in the state, calling it gambling. Other states are sure to follow. Doug, do you agree? What's your opinion? Real quick. You, you know this is political because the government just hadn't figured out a way to get their cut yet, man. It makes no sense to me if you allow horse racing in some states, if you allow gambling and casinos in Las Vegas, what's the difference? I agree. It's your money. People are going to do what they want to do with their money. Even though it's not legal, they'll find somebody to make a bet with. Healthy yep. and organic all CBD liquids are formulated using natural cannabidiol extracted from legally cultivated hemp. Evolve CBD liquids are designed to provide you all-day cannabinoid therapy in a convenient, easy, using cartridge stylish rechargeable battery. That's Check a them lot. out at HalcyonOrganics.com. Don't go away. The Funky Four coming up next with the two live stews on 640 WGST. <laughs> We're back. The two live studios are back on air every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. on WGST. It's sports talk with hot sauce. Special thanks to our sponsor, Bruce Hagen, at hagen-law.com for making it happen. 640 WGST in Atlanta. Search 640 WGST on iHeartRadio Worldwide. In life, things happen, good and bad, and being prepared is always important. If you're like me, a husband, a father, and protector of that family tree, then your family is the most important thing in the world. 95 million U.S. adults don't have protection in place. So what I've done is put my protection in the hands of the largest and number one independent financial services company in North America, and that's Primerica. They look out for middle America because they believe that offering the most competitive premiums only benefits the client and have been doing so since 1977. If you're a parent, husband, or wife and want to discuss options with one of Prime America's top reps, then call my guy, Greg Wynn, at 678-439-7172. Again, that's 678-439-7172, and he'll put your family first. And hey, tell him that Doug Stewart sent you. Yes! Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. National Debt Relief is one of the country's largest and most reputable debt settlement companies. Made up of energetic individuals who are passionate about helping thousands of Americans with debt relief. Most importantly, we're all about helping our customers through a tough financial time in their lives with education and individual customer service. We're dedicated to helping individuals and families rid their lives of burdensome debt. Specializing in debt settlement, and they've also negotiated settlements for thousands of creditor and collection accounts. Providing clients with both expertise and proven results, This means helping customers in time of hardship to get out of debt with the least possible cost. 
It can also mean conducting financial consultations, educating the customer, and recommending the appropriate solution. Core services offer debt settlement as an alternative. I repeat, alternative to bankruptcy, credit counseling, and debt consolidation. National Debt Relief is your number one advocate group to help you reestablish financial stability as quickly as possible. So give us a call at 844-828-4975. Again, that's 844-828-4975 and work it out. Welcome back to the return of the two live shoes. Doug Stewart, Ryan Stewart, 640 WGST. Shout out to my man Sully. Right here on 640 WGST, Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Sully's a cool dude. What up, Sully? Listen, man, um, while you're giving our shout out, I got to give a huge one to the good folks at Piece of Cake. No matter what your special occasion is. I love cake. We can provide the perfect desserts <laughs> to complement any event. We have delivered cakes for birthday parties, holiday parties, office parties, and much, much more for any special occasion. Check out PieceofCakeInc.com. If you can't be at a birthday party, yeah. the next best thing to do, man. Is in case. Tree got me a uh, like a gift basket last week, and, and one of the items was was some cake from Piece of Cake Man. Uh, so we didn't take it on the plane with us. As soon as we left here, we got on the plane and went to Miami. So you left everything but we got, we got you here uh, no, I left it in the car. Right. And so That's when we ridiculous. got back, when we got back, me and the old lady destroyed that cake, mm-hmm. man. I mean, it was delicious. I mean, it was good. nice and cold. Yeah. Um, listen, would you like to advertise with the Two Live Stews or the Doug Stewart Show? You can do it easily, man. Email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. That's Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Let's do some business, man. We got a we got a big listenership, man. We we got much love on them streets. Holla at your folks. I like my cake warm, not cold. Oh no, no. I don't like cold cake. I like it cold. I like it cold. The cupcakes. Right. You know, that's a big thing these days. Yeah. Yeah. Shouts out to piece of cake. All right. All right so man, the funky four this week, sir. All right, the Funky Four, the four biggest games in football, two college and two pro. Let's start with the college game, sir. What are you looking most forward to? Number two versus number 17, that's Bama versus Mississippi State. These two teams own the SEC's best overall record in the last 25 games. Each of those teams in the last 25 games are 20 and 5. So it's some of the best SEC football that we've seen from these two teams in the SEC. I think it'll be a great game today, and I think Mississippi State stands a chance, but will end up losing big to number two Alabama. Sir. And you know what, man? People had not really been talking about him, but Dak Prescott has been playing fantastic this beast. year, man. 2,300 yards passing, 18 touchdowns, only one interception. People kind of forgot about him and what he did last year with the Mississippi State Bulldogs. That's going to be an interesting one. He came this, in as a Heisman, a Heisman hopeful. Yeah, this will be the last test for Alabama before they play in the SEC championship game when they take on probably the Florida Gators. I'm right. looking forward to the Georgia Bulldogs taking on the Auburn Tigers. Not so much because it's going to be a great game or because it means a lot. It's just because it's Georgia. <laughs> and Auburn and Georgia have struggled both this year, man. So Jeremy Johnson is now back as the starter of the Auburn Tigers. He's really turned things around for a large degree. I'm looking forward to see if the Georgia Bulldogs can handle their business. Mark Rick can keep his job when they take on the Auburn Tigers today. Well, since you brought up Georgia, man, uh, before we get to the NFL games, I gotta, I'd gotta, i be remiss if I didn't say something about Tech losing this past Thursday night. Yeah, the Virginia Tech. National TV, shot. It just hurts, man. First time in like 16 or 17 years we hadn't gone to a bowl game. It's really sad. Uh, does Paul Johnson keep his job? They gave money last year, man, so he ain't going nowhere. Wow. Yep. Wow. All right, so the NFL, what game are you looking most forward to with the two live stews? Arizona and Seattle, man, because Arizona brings in that two-game lead like they did last year um, when they met their new NFC West rival in the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, I think Arizona's got a better team than healthy this year. They got Carson Palmer, who's healthy this year. Uh, they lost this game last year to Seattle. Seattle went on a five-game winning streak to turn their season around. So I'm looking for a good game. But I think that the Seattle Seahawks are a better football team defensively and will find a way to stop Carson Palmer. I'll tell you what, man. Uh, we're, we've been talking about the unbeaten teams in the NFL. Uh, even though Arizona is not unbeaten, they've lost two games already. That team is for real. Playing good football. If you look at the personnel that they have offensively and defensively, man, they are going to be a tough out. Uh, at the end of the year in the playoffs. Hey, before, I'm looking before forward your to team, okay. Shout out to the Honey Badger, man. Oh, the Honey He's Badger. Balling is behind Ball off, man. Ball award to the Honey Badger. Can Ball we get a round of applause Badger, to, the, to the Honey Badger? He's incredible, man. A round of applause to the Honey Badger. Yeah, Thank I, you. A lot of people said he'd be a good football player, man. He's truly being a good football player. Hey, I'm looking forward to the New England Patriots taking on the New York Giants. You know I'm a New England Patriot hater. 
Uh, but they're 8 0. They're among the three unbeaten teams. Tom Brady leads the league with 22 touchdown passes. Uh, and they've producing, they're producing about 34 and a half points per game with the league best 31 touchdowns. Uh, this is, this is a game where, you know, New York has had their, their, uh, their number, yes. especially in the Super Bowls, obviously over the last couple of Super Bowls. But I tell you what, I, I'm looking forward to seeing if New York can come together and beat them. You finally got uh, JPP back uh, rushing the passer for the New York Giants. Uh, Eli is Eli up and down, but I, I'm looking forward to as as for this game hey man, more so than any other game this weekend. Every offensive tackle that lines up opposite of JPP should be chomping at the bit. <laughs> I mean, if I'm a professional offensive tackle, as skilled as that young man is, him having that, that gimp hand of his. He doesn't have a gimp hand. Oh, he has a gimp hand. He sir. lost a finger. I He's really missing don't, a I, finger, I, I, I a really, portion of another finger, and a portion of another finger. But that, That's a gimp. Is that going to affect him rushing the passer? When it comes to hand combat, which offensive linemen and defensive linemen need, I wonder, yes. if, it still, I wonder if it still hurts. You think you got feel in there still? Well, it, 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 in my eyes, it has to hurt. If you grab a, a body that's 250 pounds, 260 pounds, with that gimp hand, and you start pulling. Stop saying that. I mean, that I, is so politically incorrect. I, I, I don't think gimp, gimp? gimp is politically correct in 2015. Stop it. Wait, first of all, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> gimp. All right. Yo, this young yo, man. Yo, gimp. This young man wasn't born with a handicap. A, a deficiency in his hand. That's okay? right. He did it to himself. This dumbass blew fireworks off in his hand. Okay, so I have every bit of right. I deserve to exercise the Fifth Amendment right I have to call this dumb ass a gimp. That's not the Fifth Amendment, first of all. It's not. It's not. The Seventh. And and you're listening to the two options. It's not even the Seventh. It's none of them. It's none of the amendments Just where you have the right to call somebody a gimp. Mm. It's none of the amendments is, 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 is the right to call somebody a gimp. It's none. None of them. Second. And I know I know you didn't pay attention to history class in elementary school, but it's none. Third. I can promise you that. Third. And yeah, I really just, I really don't know what they are, but I know one of them is not the right to call somebody a gimp. Well, is there something that you can write in? <laughs> he can't write it in. And you're listening to the two live students. So yeah, man, if if, if I'm an offensive tackle, I want that challenge. Bring it on, people for JPP. <laughs> oh, look, they got the gimp going. <laughs> they got the gimp. The gimp's running up over me. I and got now you're saying. Gimp. And you know what? It's not even, when you use that reference, it's kind of like it denotes some, but, something you, wrong with his legs. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with his legs. You know what I mean? You know exactly what I mean. And listen. But he can don't still start, run. Listen, he doesn't start, run on his hand. Don't start texting, emailing, and calling calling me a bad guy, and, and I'm against handicapped people and stuff eh, like that. It's not no, proper in no. 2015 well, to use the term he, gimp. He did it to himself. He did it to himself. That's the question about this story. That's the thing if about this. If you bob for apples and you keep your head under the water, you probably might die. All right? So you get the analogy here? You get it? No, I don't we get the analogy. We were almost through. And you're listening we to the two live students. That's, the, that's what I really want to hear. He's talked to the media since he's been back. I want him to give an in-depth interview on what the hell happened. How did you, as a grown-ass man, blow your fingers off with fireworks? Maybe you could get that story, actually, Doug. I hope we can. I need you to get on the tree. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. Hey, man, who <laughs> blows off their damn hand as a grown man? You did that as a seven-year-old in South Carolina. I did that when I was five, man. And you did it one time That's and it. one time only. That's it. Shouts out to the good folks from 20 Grand, my man Brandon at 20 Grand. 20 Grand has this new apple flavor, so it's vodka infused with cognac. What up, but it's 20 Grand? apple flavor, and it's delicious. Shout out to the good folks at 20 Grand. All right, man. Check out the Doug Stewart Show Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Once again, at thedougstewartshow.com or stewartmediaandentertainment.com. We got to thank the homie one more time, Bruce Hagen, hagen-law.com. He's a great injury lawyer, slip and fall, car accidents. Make sure you check him out at hagen Dash Law. Make sure you love God and love each other, folks. Peace. You're listening to the Steward Media and Entertainment Network, home of the number one sports talk show on the planet, The Doug Stewart Show. This is a revolution in radio, the realest, trillest sports talk show in America, The Doug Stewart Show. This is sports talk for the people. The Steward Media and Entertainment Network. Real talk, real radio, real people, just like you. Yeah!